Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Today I'm doing a reaction to the trailer for the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie, so sit back and enjoy. Here we begin with a bunch of characters, particularly one of the guys from Stranger Things, Finn Wolfhard. Here you can see him making friends with them driving around in a car because he and his mother and sister have just moved from, I'd say, New York to this small town where their grandfather was living before he died. You can see the house right there. They were forced to move there because they were, well, evicted from their New York apartment, I'd say. You can see their grandfather's house. It looks suitably a little creepy, a classic haunted house. But you also see the barn, which basically has been caved in. But you also see all this scientific stuff around. There's big metal canisters to the side of them, as well as all the apparatus going out of the roof of their house, or their grandfather's house, to be correct. Here we can see Finn Wolfhard playing the character as he looks down into this cave where this mysterious green glow comes out. Something shoots out of it, and he and his friends are driven to the ground. Now, they're living in a town, and this town is very strange because it's not near any fault lines or any company that's doing fracking on the land, but yet they're getting earthquakes, slight tremors every day, and this strange green light is mysterious to them. Well, McKenna Grace... Finn Wolfhard's sister in this movie, she finds a ghost trap underneath her living room floor, and it's very mysterious to her, and she takes it to school, of all things. Well, her teacher, who's played by Paul Rudd, says that's a great imitation of a ghost trap, and they ask, what is a ghost trap? And again, I have to wonder, why don't these people know about the Ghostbusters? Well, he picks it up and he explains what a ghost trap is, but later on in this scene, we find that the ghost trap opens up, and guess what happens? Paul Rudd explains no one's seen a ghost in 30 years, but hey, they just seen one right here. That blue blobby thing up in the corner there is the ghost. I know it because it looks like it's moving, and it looks like it's moving intelligently, but it's still just a basic cloud that's basically just pulsating like a blob of goo. So it's your classic Ghostbuster ghost. Well, the thing that happens where the kids go after the ghost because... Well, guess what? Their grandfather also left them. Yes, their grandfather, who was clearly a Ghostbuster, left them fully functional Ghostbuster equipment. Here we see McKenna Grace, well, touching one of the proton packs. Yes, a proton gun is now being touched by a small child who's quite clearly one of the grandkids of one of the Ghostbusters. Yes, these heroes left a fully functional weapon just lying around in their basement for anyone to stumble upon. Of course, it was behind a secret panel, and you can have excuses like that, but if anyone else had found it, it's still a freaking proton gun, for God's sakes. But he also left them the Ecto-1, that he mysteriously left fully functional in the barn, so anyone could just stumble upon it and... You'd know who and what this car is the moment you took the tarp off of it and took a look at what was underneath. And they go driving around through a field of all things, the Ecto-1, a superhero vehicle being driven around by children. That's just bloody perfect. Here, guess what else happens? Like in a tour commercial, the Ecto-1 is also equipped with a gunner's seat for people with the proton packs. And they go chasing after that ghost with McKenna Grace acting as the gunner. With her brother driving the car, the trio with their f new friend go after the ghost. And basically, this is how the trailer ends. It is good, and I really like what they did. And basically, they're holding off all of the best parts of the movie to be seen in theaters when they release Ghostbusters Afterlife in 2020. It feels that way from watching the trailer, because it just gave you a good build-up. So yeah, we should all see this movie when it's released, because it looks like it's going to be a good movie. Now, if you like this review, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. And I mean that they're currently doing a subscriber purge. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Read Comics, They're Bad For You. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And if you could, could you also please share this video? Share it on Twitter and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it would do the most good because YouTube is not going around promoting their own YouTube creators anymore and it would really help me if you could please share this video. Now listen closely.
keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.